I was going up against a Long Island giant. I'm not messing around. Linda Gibb would not have come forward, she says, if not for bulletproof evidence. She blew the whistle on Long Island's largest radiology practice, the 20 locations Wanger Pasiri. And I would do it again. And my face is not blocked out because I am not ashamed, nor am I proud. It's the right thing to do. She was new to Zwanger in 2010 and began suspecting widespread fraud. For years, she says patients who came in for one type of x-ray or ultrasound automatically got a second unnecessary test. Two tests were done. The computer was rigged to add the two tests. She claims the mega practice CEO, Dr. Steven Mendelson, falsified claims for tests performed by uncredentialed doctors and had staff intentionally spread tests out over different days. One elderly patient. He made her come back four days, one for the right hand, one for the left hand, one for the right wrist, one for the left wrist. He wanted to make sure he got every dollar he possibly could off this patient. To give them multiple tests when maybe only one was required, um, that poses a risk to the patients. Uncovering fraud, says Washington, D.C. attorney Tim McCormick, requires courageous insiders. She knew she would be ostracized. She knew she would have a hard time getting a job. But she knew this was the right thing to do. Um, and this is the kind of fraud that it's really hard for the government to find on its own. Last week, Zwanger pled guilty to criminal fraud and agreed to a $10 million state and federal settlement. Their attorney says the company has admitted no wrongdoing and that the case was never about the failure to perform billed services nor the quality of services. As a result of this case, both whistleblowers left their jobs, but they do get a percentage of the settlement, part of a government incentive to expose wrongdoing. In this case, around $200,000 each. Gibbs says it's not about the money. When you see something wrong, have enough nerve to stand up for it. And if you really do care about your kid's future, Put yourself on the line for it. She could not, she says, look the other way. In Northport, Long Island, Carolyn Gussoff, CBS 2 News.